Hi, Jacques. Hi, Nicholas. What do you have in those buckets? Did Granny Duck give you some milk again? And are you able to drink that much? I thought so. Let's take that milk to a milk processing plant and make some wholesome products out of it. Which car should we use to transport the milk? Do you have an idea, Jacques? Jacques, are you sure that'll do? Well, let's load it up. Having a bucket in a cab of a truck will be uncomfortable, Nicholas. Did you put the milk in the fridge, Nicholas? You are such a thrifty person. The pickup truck does well for now. We won't get the milk to the destination safely like this. Guys, we will spill all the milk if we do it like this. We need to use another car. I suppose we need to look into the garage. Do you have something in mind, Jacques? the cattle truck won't do. We're transporting milk, not livestock. A concrete mixer? That's a great idea! And do you know what purpose a concrete mixer serves, Jacques? It is used for holding concrete. We won't be able to use it. Maybe you'll try, Nicholas? That's interesting, but where will we put the buckets? Oh, that's what it is. We're going to pour the milk into the tank. It won't spill this way. Something else? A cooler on a hot day like this won't hurt. The milk won't go sour this way. Is that it, Nicholas? A perfect drawing. This part of the road was easy. Wonderful! The milk is safe for now. I'm scared to even look at it. Well, okay. Let me take a peek. And here's the plant! We arrived finally! Take the milk inside! How could all the milk fit in this small box, Jacques? Let's see what they've made out of our milk. Well, well. Yogurt, sour milk, cream, cheese, and even more cheese! Someone's going to have some tasty sandwiches today. And now it's time to go home. Hi, Jacques. Hi, Nicholas. Going somewhere? Ah, are you going to a Bosozoku car festival? And do you know how Bosozoku style tuning looks like? But this is a regular car. Do you think it will do? Hop in, then.
here we are. Look at all those fancy cars. Your car doesn't look that fancy. Even the ducks are laughing at you. It's time to do a tuning job on your car, guys. Maybe we should put Jacques in charge today, Nicholas. Bosozoku-style tuning demands lots of imagination and love to everything non-standard. Okay, Jacques, what should we begin with? That's right, Jacques. The first rule of Bosozoku-style tuning is the louder the car, the better. Off with the muffler! But we'll still need the exhaust pipe. Don't restrain yourself, Jacques. Perfect! That's exactly what we need. What's next? Cool bumper. You are a tuning ace, Jacques. Great wide wheels with low profile rubber. Don't worry, Nicholas. An oil cooler positioned like that also fits Bosozoku style. A cool spoiler is also required, Jacques. This will do great for intimidating our rivals. You guys are pretty serious as far as I can tell. The most important thing that's left is to do a paint job on the car, Jacques. Maybe you'll do it, Nicholas. Blue? Maybe we'll choose a more catchy color. That's better. But what if we paint it in a completely unusual way? Awesome! Is that all? Of course, the cool picture on the side. Great job, guys. You've tuned the car perfectly. Let's see how people at the festival like it. Jacques, did we forget something? A cool haircut. You will be totally unmatched. It seems like your car was a hit among the Bosozoku-style tuning enthusiasts. What does Granny Duck want? That's a huge success, guys. Granny Duck wants you to tune her scooter in this awesome style. Can you do that? <laughs> 